The Iowa State Fair has always been home to marvels and wonders, spectacles and curiosities, and sometimes just the plain weird. And while there are plenty of strange and interesting things to see at the fair in 2015, sometimes it's good to take a step back into the historical archives and take a look at some of the former grandeurs of the Iowa State Fair. With each passing year, fairgoers have always demanded more. Bigger corn dogs, faster thrill rides, higher high dives. More is a rule, not an exception at the Iowa State Fair. Bigger spectacles and one-upsmanship is as commonplace as blue ribbons and food on a stick. This keeping up with the Joneses mentality, however, met its apex at the turn of the 20th century. The year was 1906. Humanity had barely mastered powered flight. The Wright brothers' fixed-wing airplane was still in its infancy, yet all eyes were fixed on the heavens that year. Airships were all the rage. The Cobb and Shoe II, seen here soaring above the St. Louis World's Fair, was an exhibition airship. Entrepreneur Roy Cobb and Shoe would book his airship at various activities across the country and then arrive in time to set it up and fly it to the amazement of a paying audience. During that 1906 fair, a Cobb and Shoe airship flew over the state capitol and atop the fairgrounds floating miraculously in the firmament. Thousands of people came to the fairgrounds that year to look up in amazement at the floating dirigible. What was novel at first became normal, and the times began to change. Faced with the same spectacle, crowds grew restless. Even the Wright brothers' own airplane became commonplace. By the 1930s, homemade wingsuits were all the rage. Clem Sowen was one thrill seeker. He jumped out of a plane and flew with his homemade Icarus suit. Others would follow in Clem's footsteps, crashing into homes, roofs, and places other than the grandstand. Apparently floating balloons, soaring aircraft, and even people in wingsuits didn't whet the appetite of the thrill-seeking fairgoer. Things in the air needed to go faster, higher, or in one case, more impactful. Some people consider themselves lucky to walk away from a crack-up, but not Captain F.F. Frakes. This daredevil has plane crashing down to a science, and today at the State Fair, he is trying his 27th deliberate crash. Once he has the plane at sufficient altitude, the captain will head for the house. Don't worry, it's for rent. He's all set, so hold your hats. Here we go again. Crashes and collisions have been staple for fair spectacles. On three separate occasions, fairgoers have been treated to train collisions. While train crashes and aerial demonstrations may have faded into things remembered, if the historical archives show us anything else, it's that the common theme of the fair spectacles has little changed. Tractor poles, bandalones, and many other wondrous marvels still exist, and each makes visiting the Iowa State Fair all the more worthwhile.